two weeks ago I posted a video how three guys from the FAA they raided our shop I'm gonna call it raided because they just busted in the shop they flapped their badges FAA and they were concerned about two Cessna motherboards aircraft motherboards that we fixed it was a hotline complaint that's one of the guys said to me we know who complained I did post the name the username of the person who complained no personal information just a username and I did tell viewers to say hi to that person to congratulate them for making that complaint the guys came in and they flapped their badges FAA and I do have a video you can watch when was the video posted two weeks ago when was that just search FAA Northridge fix some of the popular comments that we received were why does it take three guys to come to your shop is that how we are spending our tax money one person would have been enough why three guys the guys came in and they wanted to know who sent those boards in I did not give them any information but I did work with them the first thing I told them was I just wanted to clear myself from any wrongdoing and I asked them as a non-certified FAA shop am I allowed to work on those boards and they said yes it's not you but we want to make sure the customer who sent the boards over to you they are signing off those boards before they go in an aircraft and we want to know that that person is not sending the board over to you to fix and then they sell those boards as certified where those boards are not certified and I ask there's no way to tell I mean the buyer who is buying those boards why would somebody buy a non-certified board and install it in a 10 million dollar aircraft and risk that aircraft falling from the skies why would anybody do it and they said you'll be surprised a lot of people do it so they can save money and then I told them the person who is buying the board how can they check if that board is certified and they said they cannot they will go by the word of what that seller is telling them now when I was working on that board fixing that Cessna motherboard one resistor was blown I did not know the value of the resistor I looked up an image of the motherboard online and I came across an eBay listing that had a high resolution image I zoomed in and I was able to find that part number great now we can order the part and fix the motherboard for the customer when the FAA guys came in I told them did you ever investigate that person that is selling the same board for twelve thousand dollars on eBay if that person has a certified board or if he's selling just any board and they said no why if you want to do a job you do it fully right you do not just do your job from one end and leave the other end I'm with the FAA I am with safety but there are rules you want to ask for a customer information you have to have a court order to get a customer information if there's anything the law requires that I'm obligated to give you I will 100% do it because I am with the law and not against the law but asking for a customer's information without a court order it's not gonna happen so I made FAA aware that I cannot provide any information but I'm willing to help out I still have the boards in the video if you watch it I told them that we did not get paid for those boards yet we have the boards there are no safety concerns right now if in fact those people should not be handling those boards I can reach out to the customer and I can ask questions within the limitations of what I can ask I'm not law enforcement I cannot ask certain questions but I can do some research about the company it's a big company and they have a big warehouse fixing planes uh, I looked at the pictures so they agreed they said okay you can be the middleman the guy gave me his card and I still have the card on my bench here Matthew FAA he said to call me with information because we need to speak with that person with the owner of the company I said no problem so I reached out to the customer and I told him that FAA came in and the guy was surprised he said what brought FAA to you he thought I snitched on them for FAA to come in so I told them watch the video he watched it and he was surprised and the guy sent me an email the guy is an AMP tech and they've had the business for almost 40 years he said that's normal procedure give me their phone number and I will call them I wrote Abby Monday October 13 2025 10 47 a.m. hello Abby the FAA stopped by our shop today asking questions about the two boards you sent over for repair 
They requested your contact information to confirm whether the boards are being signed off before installation. We didn't share any details and told them we would reach out to you first for clarification. Please let us know how you'd like us to respond. They're waiting for our reply. This is an urgent matter. Please reply ASAP. Abby responded, it's just for testing, experimental purposes for this tester. That is very strange for them to come. Was it specifically for those two items? I replied and I wrote, please contact him today and keep me posted. I did not give the inspector the customer's phone number, but I asked Abby to call them. And I wrote the name of the inspector, the phone number, and the email. And then I also linked to the YouTube video that we did. Now the customer replied and wrote, whoa, that was interesting. So I'm an FAA aircraft mechanic and my dad has owned an aircraft maintenance shop for 40 years. That's what we do. So we are familiar with the FAA. It's legal for any owner or pilot or mechanic to install any non-FAA certified part on their aircraft as long as the aircraft is not for hire, part 91. That's why it's legal for people to sell these aircraft parts on eBay or wherever. So thank you very much for all of this. Also tell the owner I've been watching him for years and I love watching his videos and I appreciated that he did not cave into the pressure of giving my information to them. I run a successful parts sales business that we get FAA repair shops that are certified to repair all of our parts. We just had a customer that owned his own plane ask me if we can get these PC cards repaired because the manufacturer couldn't repair it in a timely fashion. It's legal for him to install anything he wants on his aircraft as long as he doesn't fly for money and charge people to transport them. I contacted the FAA and hopefully they will get back to me. Thank you, Abby. And the signature, which also reads AMP Tech. So Abby and the company is 100% legit. They've owned an aircraft maintenance shop for 40 years. Abby is an AMP tech and everything is legit. Now Abby called the FAA inspector and that's the last I heard from Abby. I contacted Matthew, the guy who gave me the card, FAA Matthew. I wrote, hello Matthew, it was a pleasure meeting you and your team. As promised, I reached out to our customer regarding the Cessna board repairs and the FAA's concerns. At his request, I provided your contact information and stressed the importance of getting in touch with you today. Please keep me informed so we can determine how to proceed with his boards, our customers' boards, and any potential future repairs. And the email was sent to Matthew when? October 13, 2025, 12.38 p.m. After sending the email, I heard nothing from Matthew. Now, a lot of people in the comments were asking, did the FAA paid you a visit before the government shutdown or after? After. October 13. I posted the video the same day FAA guys came in. You can look at the date. It was after the shutdown. They did not reply. So I sent them another email. I want to know what to do with the boards. I want to protect myself. I want to protect our business even though everything looks legit. I just wanted the okay from Matthew. So again, I wrote, hello, Matthew. The customer mentioned that he called yesterday and left you a message. Were you able to follow up with him? Please let me know the outcome so we can decide how to proceed with the boards. The customer has already paid for one of the repaired boards, so we need to ship it back. He also noted that the boards are for private use. His signature reads AMP tech and he's an aircraft mechanic. Please update me on the status. And no updates. Matthew, does not want to update me on the status. What was all this coming to the store for? Three guys came into the shop, flapping their badges, safety concerns. Is the board being certified? Is the board being signed off? It would take Matthew a second to reply. Yes, we did call him. Everything is okay. Have a nice day. How long would that take? Two seconds, three seconds, 10 seconds, nothing. Is it the government shutdown that's preventing Matthew from replying to my emails? Maybe, I don't know. But they came in after the government was shut down. A lot of viewers wrote in the comments, it's all about the money. It's all about the money. FAA do not care. Look at what's going on with Boeing. Look at what's going on with this. 
17, 1800 comments, people talking about the money industry, the money industry. And I'm starting to believe this because if this was in fact a safety concern, the least we can get is yes, we did check. Thank you very much for your participation. Everything is okay, proceed. What shall I do? I keep the boards, I send the boards back. I wait for Matthew to reply. Today is what? October 30. It's been two weeks, 15 days. We're going to ship the board back to the customer. And I did my due diligence. I reached out to the customer and to Matthew. And I did everything I could. If Matthew does not want to respond, I'm guessing everything is okay. Let's read some of the comments. 1,800 comments. I'm going to go over maybe 10. Alex, I'm a retired FAA inspector, and I must say you handled the FAA visit in a very professional manner with a good outcome. Most people are intimidated with the FAA flashing IDs and badges. Having the mountain of right on your side made all the difference. The installer of the circuit board has the responsibility to ensure it's properly tested and signed off by a certified person, not your facility. I'm sure more aviation shops will be sending you boards to repair after seeing your videos. Well done. Daniel wrote, certification is the only way a $30 board can be sold for $30,000. Wow. Part of the certification cost is the liability insurance for when they get sued for millions after a crash. $30,000, yeah, pretty much. Okay, let's jump over to another comment. Rick wrote, the easy solution is to ask the FAA for their contact information and give it to your customer. And if your customer wants to call them and talk to them, then fine. And you're out of the loop. And that's exactly what I did. Good comment. As an MRB aircraft engineer, I find this fascinating. The FAA can easily subpoena the customer information if they seriously want it. This seems more like a due diligence visit just to make sure you understand what's on stake. The FAA isn't the bad sign. The NTSB would be a bad sign. Hotline complaint. Somebody snitched. Exactly. Looks like this is the guy who snitched. Just for the fun of it. Nobody knows who that guy is. Just a username. It's a good feeling to know the FAA is being proactive. The guy is legit, but not all are. If you want to do a job, you do it fully. Man, I wish more people would remember this. I think he's referring to when I told the inspector, why not check the guy on eBay selling the board? Black Omega UK wrote, FAA basically wanted you to do their job for them. Well done as always for your professionalism. I'm sure your customers will appreciate you respecting their confidentiality. Stay safe, Alex. I appreciate it. The FAA didn't find your videos. Someone reported this to FAA as a complaint after watching your videos. Rich people are some of the cheapest people on earth. Personal experience. I don't think that's true for every rich person, but cheap people are everywhere. Poor or rich. Brandon Road. They sent three people. Busy day at the office, it seems. That's probably related to their wanting to strong man him into giving up the customer's information like sending half a dozen cops instead of just one. People tend to poop themselves and do whatever they're told. I appreciate them looking into this matter, but three FAA officials for two, three hours seems like a waste of resources. Maybe they just wanted to be on YouTube. They have a lot of time on their hands with the shutdown. When they make you pay 15 times normal retail just to have them certify it, it's an intimidation tactic. They use scare tactics. Our tax dollar is hard, not at work, is what it is. While air towers have zero people doing traffic. Okay, I think that's enough comments. I got the point across. I did my due diligence. I reached out to the customer. I reached out to Matthew. And we're going to send the boards back to the customer. That's the update with FAA. A lot of viewers are asking what happened, what's the update. That's the update. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video. I'm going to keep the card in case I need to reach out to Matthew for whatever reason, even though I know he's not going to respond. What can you do? What's up, buddy? How are you? Which one? It's for a light bar for one of our tow trucks. Okay. Uh, what's wrong with it? It keeps on timing out after a couple, like about a minute. Okay. I have no idea. So it does work, but it times out. Yeah. It goes off every, like every what? Yeah. Every few seconds, every few minutes. Uh, within like 30 seconds, and then you turn it off and turn it back on and start working. And then okay. Everything. So right now, 
I see possibly four transistors here mm -hmm. and four here. One of them could be bad. What I can do is I can measure one against the others and see if the measurements of one is going to differ from the others. Usually they should be the same when they are connected like this. So we can check and see if any one of them is going to read different than the other because we don't have any circuit diagrams for those. We do not have any board diagrams. We do not have any schematics. So we go by what we know yeah. on how to test components. Connectors, they're not going to be the issue. I do not see any burn marks with them. We have more resistors, capacitors, diodes here that we can possibly measure. The back is empty, so that's a good thing. So in total, we have like 20, 30 components, and one of those components is likely causing the issue. Now, is this something you can buy uh, used? No. Because I would have told you to check and see uh, if it's cheaper to buy it used. Yeah, the light <coughs> bar itself is about 2,000. I've been watching for years. How long? Oh, a long time. So you're an old viewer, not a new viewer. Yeah. No, okay. No. You did not come here because you just wanted to fix this. You've been watching. Yeah. Okay. I've been, but so you've seen us fix all type of stuff exactly. on YouTube. Okay. Usually I would not take those boards in because we would end up spending a lot of time on something we have not worked on before. But the board has, um, I would say, like 30, 40 components. So it's doable where I can try to reverse engineer how that board is built. Uh, since we do not have thousands of components on yeah. there. Okay, so for that board, uh, it's going to be $450 if we can fix it. If it's something that works for you, we can take it in. If you want to think about it, you can always come back. Okay, and if you cannot? If you ca it will be $95 for the bench fee. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Uh, what's your first and last name? Uh, let's do Angel. Or All right, Angel, you owe $95 now, and the $95 is for the bench fee in case it's a no fix, or it will apply towards the final amount. If it's a fix. Did you watch the FAA video? Yes. I'm making an update video right now. And you'll probably be on the video talking. Angel, right? <laughs> okay. Take care, buddy. Take care. Bye. Thank you. All right. All right. So Angel is a manager at a towing company. And he said the bar light for their tow truck is not functioning or it is functioning for a short time and then it goes off. So he brought in the motherboard right here. I told Angel that we have not worked on this board before, but looking at the board, we have around maybe 30 components. How difficult could it be to fix this board? We're gonna have to spend some time working on it and hopefully I can figure it out for Angel. He's a long time viewer of the channel and I asked him, if he watched the FAA video, he said yes. So I told Angel, I'm making a video as we speak about the update, what happened with FAA. And you're going to be in it. So.